have many, many, many people in this community on the doorstep that are without a doctor. I think the number is 3,000. I've met seniors that have waited 12 hours in our ER just to get a prescription. That's unacceptable. And we do need to have a plan to, to recruit and retain doctors, doctors to this area. Incentives are a part of that. But in my conversations I've had with, with community leaders, another major issue is finding employment for the spouses of doctors. Um, having excellent recreational facilities and quality of life for, for young people. So this is a holistic plan that we need to put together um, for our entire community, it includes creating more jobs through, uh, I think we should do that through growing small businesses, having our transportation links back so industry will come and invest here. And it comes through having a community plan so young people have recreational opportunities that aren't just sports and have access to, to, to education opportunities in the area. That's what it comes down to. Nothing sits alone and isolated. Everything is connected.